Hey there, we are here on Lesson 20 Homework in the Succeed Book. We are on page 87. And we are going to be solving, we're going to draw chips in our place value chart. And we'll bundle when we need to, if we need to compose a 10 or if we need to compose a 100. First thing we have to do, of course, is write our problem vertically. Remember being careful to line up those ones and tens, add my plus sign so I don't forget what I'm doing. And I'm gonna show those two numbers uh, in the place value chart. So 41 has four tens, one, one. So one, two, three, four, one, one. 39 has three tens, one, two, three, and nine ones. One, two, three, four, five. Remember to do it in five groups. It makes it so much easier for you to see what you have. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm ready to add. I can start with my ones and look to see if I can bundle up or compose a 10. I have nine and one. So yes, I am going to bundle that up and make a 10. If I do it here, I have to do it here. Nine and one is 10. So I brought one 10 over there and there aren't any ones left. Now I'm ready to add up my tens. I have four plus three plus one. Four plus three plus one, is that gonna let me bundle and compose a hundred? No, I have four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't bring one over to the hundreds. So 41 plus 39 equals 80. Let's do the next one, 54 plus 26. Start off writing it vertically, 54, 26, everything's lined up. And I'm going to um, show my two numbers. So 54, I'm gonna model that over here with chips. One, two, three, four, five tens, and four ones. 51, 52, 53, 54. Down here I have 26, so two tens, six ones. I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So now I'm ready to add, I'm looking at my ones. I have four and six. Four and six of one of those friends of 10. So I'm going to bundle up and move it over. So I've got a new group of 10 at the bottom. If I do it here, I need to do it here. So I have 10 ones. Four plus six is 10. So that's one 10 and zero ones left over. Now I'm coming over here to add up my 10s. I have five plus two, plus one. Five plus two plus one is not gonna allow me to bundle up a group of um, 10 tens to make a hundred. Five, six, seven, eight. 54 plus 26 is 80. It's the same thing. All right. Moving up to do the last one on this page, 96 plus 39, writing it vertically. 96, make sure I'm lining up 39 right underneath my ones, my tens. And then I'm gonna model that or show it in my place value chart. 96 has nine tens and six ones. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and six ones, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Coming down here, I'm gonna show 39, three tens, nine ones. One, two, three, 10, 20, 30, and then nine ones, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have 96 plus 39. I'm going to start with my ones. I have nine here. I know I only need one more to make a 10. So I can bundle that. Or I have six up here and I would need four more to make 10. So I could take four up there. This is the one I saw first though. So I'm just going to bundle up my nine and that one. And I'm going to move it over to add a group of 10 at the bottom. So 6 plus 9 is 10. And how many left? 5. 6 plus 9 is 15. 10, 5. So there's the 10 that I brought over. And here are the 5 ones. Now I'm going to add 9 plus 3 plus 1. Can I make a group of 10 here? I sure can. I have nine. I only need one more for that to be a group of 10 tens, which is the same as 100. So when I add nine plus three plus one, I have a group of 10 tens, which is a hundred, I'm gonna write there. And then how many tens are left? Three. Are there any other hundreds for me to add it to? Nope, just the one. So we have 135. Now we can certainly write those answers up here. The sums but you don't have to. 96 plus 39 equals 135. Here we composed twice. We composed a group of 10 ones to make a 10, and then we composed a group of 10 tens to make a 100. We have a couple more on the next page, page 88. Starting by writing vertically 84 plus 79. 84, 79, carefully lining them up with the ones and the tens, and then I'm going to model it. 84 has eight tens and four ones. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and four ones. One, two, three, four. So I have 84, now 79 has seven tens and nine ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Okay. It, it certainly seems like a lot of both ones and tens. I think we're going to have to do some composing here. Four plus nine. Again, nine only needs one more to make a group of ten. So here I have nine, ten. Four plus nine is ten, three, or thirteen. So when I bundle up that 10, I need to remember to bring it over and make a new 10 down here. So when I write that here, I say 4 plus 9 is 13. That's one group of 10 and 3 extra. That looks like a lot of 10s too. We have 8 up here and 7 down here and then one more. So if I have eight, how many do I need to take from down here to make a group of 10? I need two. So I have eight, and I'm going to grab two from this one. Because eight plus seven plus one is 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. 10, six. 16. That is a group of 10 tens. 
which is 100, and then 6 left in the tens place. So we have 100 and 6 tens. There isn't anything else in the hundreds place, so I'm just going to bring that down. 163, 84 plus 79 is 163. One more of this kind, 65 plus 97, writing it vertically, 65, 97, and we're going to draw them. Six tens, five ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, nine tens, and seven ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and seven ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. So I've got five plus seven, and I can see right there is a group of five and a group of five. That's going to be a group of ten. So I'm going to bundle that up, compose a ten, and move it over there to put it at the bottom. So when I add five and seven, I have ten, two or 12. And I write that over here, 110 and 2 left over. Now I'm going to add 6 plus 9 plus 1. Well, 9 plus 1, that's a group of 10 tens. And 10 tens is 100. I have six left. So six plus nine plus one is ten six, sixteen tens. I moved one ten over there to make a hundred, and I have six tens left. Nothing to add that hundred to, so I'm just going to bring it down. We have one hundred sixty-two. Sixty-five plus ninety-seven, one hundred sixty-two. Okay, so now these down here are a little tricky. What we have to do is in each one of these boxes, A, B, and C, we're going to circle two numbers that add up to 150. Okay, 150. So in this first box, we have numbers that end with three and numbers that end with seven. If we're going to end up with 15 tens, clearly we're not going to have any ones. So we need to have one of these seven numbers with one of the three numbers. Okay? So if I have 67 and 73, seven and three make up 10, right? So then I would have six and seven and one more. So seven and six more would be eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, plus the one ten is 14 tens, 140, not 150. So then, if 67 and 73 is 140, we need something that is 10 more. What is 10 more than 73? 83. 67 and 83 add up to 150. 7 and 3 is a 10, and 8 and 6 is 14 tens, plus the 7, 3, 10 is 15 tens. All right. Here, again, we need something that will add up to 10, so we get that 0. So we have numbers that are 2 and numbers that end with 8. So 
we're going to need one of these three with one of those two. It needs to come out to 150. If we add, let's try these first two. 8 and 2 gives you a 10. 4 plus 9, 9, adding 4 more is 10, 11, 12, 13, and then a 10 from here, that's 14. That's only 14, 140. So 48 plus 92 is 140. We need 10 more. What is 10 more than 48? 58. 58 and 92, that's 150. Look at our last one. Oh, no, all the numbers end with 5. So we could add any of those numbers together to get 150. Now, I will say this. If I added 55 and 45, that's going to only be right around 100. 50 and 50 is 100. So we need more than that. We need five more tens than that. So if we add 65 and 75, 5 and 5 is 10. Bringing that 10 over, 7 and 6 is 13. And one more 10 is 14. That's 140 again. So we have 75 and 65 is 140. What is 10 more? 75 and 75. Now, if you know your doubles, you might have already known 7 and 7 is 14. So that would be 14 tens, and then 5 plus 5 would give you one more 10 to make 150. These are a little bit tricky. You're just going to need to be using your mental math skills a little bit to practice those. Good job today, everybody. Thanks for working hard, and I'll see you next time.